each prep has its uh, its ups and downs, and um, things are kind of cyclical. You know, maybe for a couple weeks, you know, you're feeling a certain way, and then uh, you kind of enter the next phase, and then you're feeling another way. Uh, I mean, if I think back to where I was at, at 15 weeks out at the beginning at the beginning of the diet, you know, mentally versus where I'm at right now mentally. It's two totally different places. Uh, and it's not that I wasn't focused at 15 weeks out, but the seriousness, um, you, you get more and more serious as it goes along. It just, it's just, it's progressive knowing that the show is uh, five weeks away, it's three weeks away, it's, it's a week away. Um, but if, if I were to, if I were to feel the same way right now mentally, at 15 weeks out, I would have never made it to the prep. I, you know, killed myself by by now, uh, and probably everybody around me.
it just it, it's a it's a progression. It's just that's the way bodybuilding is in general. Things evolve, um, whether you're in your off season or your pre contest. It just it, it evolves. It, it, it changes with what's necessary at that time. Um, overall, I mean, if I had to to weigh weigh this prep against you know ones that I've had in the past. Um, I don't want to say it was easier, but in a way it was. I don't know if, I, if as, as time goes on, I just get more and more used to the process. And I mean, really, the difference between my off-season and pre-contest has really become less and less um, over the years. I mean, like the first show I ever prepped for, was it was miserable to get ready for. But probably because I wasn't used to that whole, that whole process. And what I was doing in the off season, say for example, my, my nutrition, when it came time to diet, it was like doing a, a 180. Now it's not really like that. So I've gotten so used to you know, the regimentation of eating and the food preparation and the timing of things. And plus, at this point, this is, is my job. So I'm gonna have the time to dedicate to it. I know um, how to apportion my time. And I think, uh, as time goes on too, you realize what's necessary and what's not. There were things that I would I'd do in the past, take for example in the gym, that now I, I recognize I think were overkill. said, you know, as you, as you get older, it's not like you, something to the effect of, it's not that you get less hungry, you just know where the food is. And I think it's, it's not that you're, um, you're any less motivated or that you're not working as hard, but you know, you know more how to, how, you know how to get more out of things and you know how to save yourself uh, wasted effort and wasted time and wasted energy. You can just do things more efficiently, get more done. 
in, in the end, it's, it's easier on yourself. I, uh, I'm doing a half hour cardio a day. Well, actually, at this point, it's only five days a week. At max, it was only it was a half an hour a day. And I, I don't say that braggingly. I just say it um, just as a matter of fact. I, I know, I mean, my, myself included in the past, I've done up to uh, three hours a day getting ready for a show. And the thing I realize now, I just wasn't manipulating my diet correctly, making full use of, um, you know, maybe carbohydrate cycling, just nutrient cycling. And, um, the reaches, you, you reach a point too, I, I think, where you're getting ready for a show and it's really easy to just drive yourself into the ground. Well, I'm gonna do more cardio, I'm gonna eat less, more, 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 more. And uh, I mean, there's only, there's only so much that your nervous system is gonna take. There's only so much that your body's gonna take where you know, you're gonna reach a point where your body's just gonna say, hey, fuck you. It's not gonna wanna continue to give up fat. It's not gonna, your body's not gonna look the way you want it to look. You have to, um, a lot of people would say that this is bodybuilding and because you're, you're pushing your body to a point where it doesn't wanna be. I mean, granted, the human body's not meant to be uh, 260 pounds shredded, you know, uh -huh. at, you know, 260 pounds, let's say, you know, three to five percent body fat. It's not meant to be that. So whatever it is, you're going to have to force your body. You're going to have to make your body lift weights it doesn't want to lift. You're going to make it do this, make it do that. And while um, to some degree maybe it's true, I think of it this way. I mean, looking back, I mean, knowing myself, if you tell me uh, you have to do this or you're going to do this whether you like it or not, my first... Uh, my first reaction is, fuck you, I don't want to do it. But if someone was going to uh, kind of work with me and say, hey, let's do this, let's, uh, let's make this happen, you're more likely to get, to, to get it out of me. I think the body is the same way. Yes, you're going to have to push it, and you're going to have to push it, push it past its, its comfort zone and uh, make, it, make it do things it's not used to, but you have to know when to pull back and uh, give it the rest that it needs, give it the, the nutrients that it needs, make it feel like you're not just constantly uh, forcing it forcing it down a road that it doesn't want to go. And I think if you go that way, it's, uh, it, it's much, much harder versus if you can work with your body. And I think that's something I've learned uh, to do. And it feels like it's something that's really happened. I, I was, it's a, something I was able to do last year and I'm, even better able to do this year because, um, to be honest, I felt like I really didn't have to kill myself. I mean, yeah, I train hard. I, I'm, I'm strict with my dieting, but I feel like I was able to do, uh, instead of just working harder, I was able to work smarter and just be more efficient and be more effective. So overall, I think, you know, we'll tell in, uh, in a week or so time, depending on what I look like on stage, exactly how good of a prep it was. But at this point right now, uh, if, if it is what I think it is, I'd have to say it's probably the best prep that I've had. Uh, we'll find out.